This is Magenta Pixie recording an out of body experience deliberately induced on the morning of the 5th of July 2009. The previous day, that was July the 4th, I had listened to, to Jessica Mystic's latest interview with Truth Brigade Radio. The videos of this interview are up on her YouTube site. During this interview, Jessica talks of being a dream guide. And after listening to the interview, I realised that I had met several people in dream time that I knew via the internet or from television, and had not met them in real life, and that I had been working with them spiritually, helping them to clear their blocks and awakening them to ascension understanding, and that I had in turn been helped by dream guides, both those living on the physical plane and the guides of higher light. I realised I had not yet met Jessica Mystic in, in dream time, and I decided I would very much like to meet her and ask her if she would give me more information on how to be a conscious dream guide myself. So, as my guides, the white-winged collective consciousness of nine, have taught me, I focused on meeting Jessica Mystic in dream time as I was falling asleep. I woke in the early hours of the morning after dreaming of something completely different and then I remembered that if you get up and walk around for a few minutes in the early hours and then go back to sleep, this gives you the ideal situation for out-of-body experiences and astral travel, as the pineal gland is at its most active at this point. So I returned to bed and I consciously willed an out-of-body experience to occur as I fell asleep. Sure enough, I remained conscious as I fell asleep, moving through the sleep paralysis stage and feeling those familiar tingles and hearing those familiar astral sounds, which signified to me that I was asleep now, but fully aware within my astral body, or dream body. I willed myself to glide out of my body and I effortlessly flew out of my bedroom window. I asked my guides to show me the way to find Jessica Mystic. I was taken over beautiful forest areas with many green trees and I eventually flew down and landed near a wooden building which was tucked away within, within a wood, surrounded by trees, lots of greenery. I walked inside, remaining fully lucid all the time. I saw several people. Some looked like nurses of some kind walking around and then I saw Jessica lying on the bed by the window. She looked beautiful and her hair was very, very blonde. I sat next to her. She wasn't ill or anything. She was just lying calmly on the bed while she concentrated on being a dream guide and being in many places at once. She proceeded to give me a long instruction on how to be a dream guide and she also told me about how to do dream healing. I remember some of the things she taught me, but the majority of her teaching came to me in the form of a knowing. Knowledge that I now know is inside me, but that I have not yet processed consciously. I was aware that I was with Jessica for a long time, yet time seemed completely different to me than it is in the waking world. And just like fast forwarding a video, my memory of that time during the conversation with Jessica is more hazy. When she had completed her teaching for that day, I went outside to find some flowers for her to say thank you. But there were none. There were only trees, green shrubs, grass and moss. But I remembered, of course, that I could control the dream. So I manifested some flowers, expecting a flower bush to materialise. Actually, what did materialise was a flower stand with bouquets and bunches of flowers on. I took one bunch of flowers and went back into the wooden building. Jessica was no longer there and so I asked one of the nurses where she was and I was told she was now upstairs. I went upstairs to find her lying on another bed. She was peaceful and happy but I also got the feeling that she was very busy working in other realms. I handed her the flowers and I said thank you for all her time. I then left the building and my guides took me to a place where there were several indigo and crystal children ranging from five years old up to teenagers and there was another wooden building this one was much more like a school 
I went inside with this group of children and although there were lots of people in there, lots of classrooms with teachers teaching these children, I found a quiet room and sat down on the chair and the children all sat cross-legged on the floor and I proceeded to teach them about the true origins of our planet, our real history and about our future and about the ascension. Again, time took on that different meaning during the time that I, I gave this teaching. There were some very rebellious teenage indigo boys in my group who didn't believe what I was saying to them, but eventually they listened and they took on board what I was saying. The younger children all seemed to already know exactly what I was teaching them. After this, I left the building and I flew back across the forest to my sleeping body, remaining lucid all the time. Thank you for listening.